from beautiful Lisbon, Portugal, friends. Today I'm so excited because it is my one full day here in Lisbon and we are about to conquer this entire city. Before we get started, I'm just going to let you know that this video is in collaboration with Daniel Wellington. This summer I'm sporting the classic petite in rose gold and I'm absolutely loving it because I find that it's very cute, fun, and summery, and of course, no leather band. There's also a special discount code for all of my friends, courtesy of Daniel Wellington, so all the details will be linked below, as well as the watch that I'm wearing, so you can check it out a little bit more closely. So, if you guys remember correctly, when I was in Amsterdam, similar to as in Lisbon today, I'm going to try and explore the whole city in one day using a <laughs> classic map. So I asked the gentleman at the front desk at the hostel I'm staying at, which is the Lost Inn in Lisbon, and they gave me a lot of recommendations on how to spend the day today and how to get the most of it. He said it is possible to conquer this entire city in one day. Of course, I wish I had more time, but one day is what we're going to try and aim for today. So right now, the time is about 9.13 a.m. So we are going to be playing a fun game of time check and almost like a little bit of a scavenger hunt today too. So let's see how much of the city we can conquer in one full day. Let's get started. You guys, I think we made it to our first stop. So we did in fact make it guys and the time is 9.22 we'll say. 9.22 we made it to the first monument on our scavenger hunt list. We're making good time, we're making good time so far. And now we're going to move it all the way up the street to our next stop which looks like a very nice view of the city. So far my initial thoughts of Lisbon are that I'm absolutely loving the colors. I absolutely love when I can see little balconies off of windows. Makes me wish that one day, one day I'll have a little balcony off of my room, wherever I decide to live, in whichever city, but that's to be decided. Guys, we made it to stop number two. We are at Miraduro San Pedro Alcantara. And the time is? 9.30 a.m. We're doing good, we're doing good. So unfortunately we're blocked off by this little fence here, but this is one of the most incredible views of Lisbon, what I've heard anyways. This is the first view of the day, the first viewpoint, and I think it's pretty stunning. You definitely get a really good bird's eye view of all the pastel colors of these buildings, which is so charming. They're so beautiful. So pretty you are. Did you catch a bug? Is that a bug beside you? I think somebody is a hunter. So cute. <laughs> Have a good day, sweetie. Bye. So the time is now almost 9.50 and somebody got themselves lost in Lisbon. <laughs> My next stop actually on this map was the Lost Inn and it's a coffee shop. Get it? Lost Inn, Lost in Lisbon. I got lost on my way here. I got lost because it's a small archway it's just, just along the walk here and you would get lost if you didn't know. So pay attention to, to the video if you'd like to go here and let's go grab ourselves a little bit of an iced coffee and apparently there's a lovely view which I'm excited to check out. So unfortunately they are only open at 12.30 for lunch and then for dinner. They also have live music and it's highly recommended. But unfortunately I don't have the chance to check it out but when you're in Lisbon you definitely should. I know I'm going to go there next time. So right now I've just hung a left on Rue da Rosa and we're going to explore these streets and find our next stop. Rua 
Santa Bica, which is very picturesque, as you can see. A lot of people have told me that Lisbon resembles San Francisco, and I can definitely see why. It's about 10 19 and we we've made it to our next stop which is a beautiful viewpoint of the river and the scenic bridge <laughs> This view is absolutely stunning, but if I know my camera and I know film, I know that it's not doing it any justice. This is truly an amazing view, and I think it's better than the first one we saw today, but we'll see after we visit all the rest how they all match up. But it's it's stunning. The bridge is remarkable. Hey, that's the first thing that I heard you say. And that was all it took to make me stay around and dream about you, baby. Alrighty, friends, so the time is about 10.33 and we are at the Time Out Market. So let's go inside. The Time Out Market in Lisbon is a collection of the best cuisine Portugal has to offer. Consisting of 35 kiosks selling regional specialties, this is a great place to meet friends as there is something on the menu for everyone. The quality is amazing and five top chefs have restaurants here. Since I missed out on my iced coffee, I decided to grab a fresh juice for a bit of a boost. It was fantastic and highly recommended. The time is about 6 after 11 right now and I just bought my ticket for the tram. We're going on the tram guys. This was 3 euro 40 I believe and that's to go to Belém, the neighborhood of Belém and back. Sorry if my pronunciation sucks. But let's go have a good time. And I never second guess that this was right. So the time is about 11.31 and we've arrived in Belém, Belém, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm sorry, my apologies again. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get up to here. I'm feeling a little bit hungry but I think we should explore a little bit first. It looks like there's some very beautiful gardens next to me so let's go check them out. giant raccoon guys. I absolutely love seeing street art especially when it's a little bit different than the normal you know spray paint when it's actually a bunch of different things put together. It's definitely like an art installation. It's super cool. I'm on my way now. It's about 11.59. Getting hungry. So I'm on my way now to find some lunch and there's actually a place in Belém Bel Bel <laughs> that is vegan, vegetarian friendly, and known to have very good food. And I think I'm almost there. If I if I mark it right on my map, I'm almost there. So hopefully we'll find it. about five after one and we've made it to Torre de Belém. Tour de Belém. Tour de Belém. The Tower of Belém. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Okay guys, so the time is about four after five. And I know what you're thinking, what happened? Where did the day go? What happened there? So I didn't fall in the river, don't worry about that. What happened was I had some technical difficulties. 
my camera battery died. I only have one. So I had to go back to the hostel, plug it in, and while I plugged in, I got myself a nice coffee, and I just strolled around my neighborhood here, enjoyed the streets, and I actually bought a dress for my best friend's wedding. I'm actually emceeing for, which I'm really excited about. So if you guys haven't subscribed, you might as well subscribe and see how that adventure goes. But okay, I still have the map. <laughs> I still have a few more monuments to get at, which we, we made extremely good time this morning, so no problem there. We are making our way over to the castle now for an amazing view and I have some even better news and it is that the sun came out. Everything's just better when it's sunny, isn't it? lost in Lisbon and it's been an incredible day and I even took a little bit of break in between so it's definitely possible to do Lisbon in one day obviously it's not recommended obviously the city deserves a lot more than one day and it will get a lot more than one day for me I know I'll be back but let's enjoy these sights so how could this be done with such a smiling sweetheart oh you're so naive yet yeah, so Oh, that every time you're on his side, I know she knows. I know that I'm not fond of asking. Obrigado, Lisboa. Thank you for a beautiful, beautiful day, and I will certainly be back. I hope you guys enjoyed following me around today and enjoying our little scavenger hunt. Don't forget, for limited time, you can have a discount on the Daniel Wellington watches with my special code. All the details will be linked below, and I will see you all in my next country. I hope you're enjoying all my adventures so far. I am having an absolute pleasure bringing you along for it. I love to share it with you. Bye! Oh, 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 oh.